If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, guys, listen. This video is going to be specifically for my favorite formation and custom tactic to use in this game on a personal level, okay? This formation is not the most meta, okay? Because of the lack of super, keyword, super congestion in the middle of the pitch to counter the cutback, the direct passing cut, like that specific meta because people kind of like push up against your defenders like crazy, right? But this formation and these custom tactics from both sides, okay, there's two different ones here. These are my favorite formation and custom tactics to use in this game because this formation is the one that provides you everything that you need, okay? So ignore the team and the way that it's formatted. This is the SBC account. I'm constantly rotating it all the time, okay? So the custom tactic is lined up like this. You guys have seen this custom tactic from the pro player. Abe, we did this review already. So we'll just quickly brush up on it. Two things to mention, okay? The custom tactic that you want with this one is the more pro variation of it, which is a little bit more boring to say the least, okay? But even though it's a pro variation, it's still very fun to play in game. But the other one, this tactic, you're gonna want two variations of it specifically for the pro one. You're going to want it set up like this on balance, 47 for width, 65 for depth, build up play on balance, direct passing for chance creation, 47 for width, and then six for players in the box, one for corners, one for free kicks. You want two variations where one is on 65, but then the other one is on 71. Even though they nerfed the 71 depth situation just to get movement out of your players in the defensive positions against certain people, is actually incredible, incredibly helpful, okay? So two variations of that could be very ideal, okay? Instructions, very basic. Again, these are the pro player ones. The pro player ones is all, you know, stay back while attacking overlap for the fullbacks. Goalkeeper, you could do whatever you want. I usually just do comes for crosses. Don't use Dudek, Dudek is horrible, but it's just for the review account. Your CDM is on cup passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. Your center mid is on cover center. Your left mid and your right mid is on comeback and defense, get into box or cross. And then both of your strikers are on stay central, get in behind. Okay, so that's the pro one aside. We've already reviewed this one. You guys can go watch that video individually, okay? However, Div10 Tactic, the guy that literally saved me earlier this year with a beautiful 4-1-3-2 in regards to crazy attacking AI, came back and did another one, boys, okay? And this tactic... These are the tactics I like the most, man. I don't care about the top meta because the top meta is trash, okay? I need the movie Mentos. And my boy Div10, when he made this formation, I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. So please be sure to check out the original tweet, all right? I'm going to leave a link down below. So Div10's tactic is set up like this, guys. Look at it. Look, you already know it's, you already know it's like authentic stuff because of the way that the instructions are set up, okay? Unfortunately about the direct passing, but that's how it is in the new gen version of the game. All right. Left striker, untouched. Right striker, drift wide. Center mid, untouched. Left mid, come back, cut inside, target player. Right mid, cut inside, target player. Stay back while attacking. And cover center for the medium high work rate player playing at CDM. Left back on, vert, uh, on inverted. And then your right back is stay back inverted. Now guys, listen. Just like the last time I reviewed this tactic, okay? You need to look at the individual things that he mentions in the pitch notes, okay? Or in the notes in general, okay? The tactic itself is at the bottom here. You can see balance 35 for width, 50 for depth, build up play bounce, direct passing 15 for width, seven for players in the box, and then corners and free kicks is set to personal preference. Look at the notes, okay? The notes is as follow, very important notes to mention. Which cards to use in these formations? So just like the last time, in the center mid position, you want players that are midfielders that are good at both attacking and somewhat even a little bit of defending. But, you know, if you can get like Bruno Fernandes or something, it'd be very ideal, right? But look, he uses examples like Sawa, Fernandez, Zidane, right? 
some defensive capabilities are required with good passing and shooting, right? So players like Bruno Fernandes is really good because most people have him because he's obviously very solid, right? But people have Sawa as well. You can use a player like that in that position. Zidane, even whatever, right? CDM, medium, high, classic, send defense to mid is best practice. If you're really good in defending, you can use high, high. I don't recommend, but the more experienced players shouldn't have major issues. For instance, I've seen someone like Abe use Hullet. For me, I always tell people I like to have the medium, high worker player in that CDM position. So that's why he's mentioning to you, right? The wingers or the side position players, right? Anyone you feel comfortable with, both will be involved in the attack. Left mid with some defensive capabilities might be a good option, but not required, okay? Uh, left back, uh, Bacha, Karchawi, Davies, etc. Anyone who can contribute in the attack, even Kai Havertz, guys. If you still have the Kai Havertz card, that card has the whipped pass plus. That's pretty crazy to work with, right? Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So it's, it's essentially the same explanation that I've given you guys in the past in regards to how the formation should generally play, the types of players you want. It's very important to get two midfielders that can rotate between this 4-1-3-2 and another formation just in case. Like the 4-3-2-1 that we recently reviewed, you always have those two center mids that are stay back and cover center, right? For both of them. That's the types of players you want in this, but you want this guy specifically to be someone that you can attack with. So if you keep someone like Bruno or Sawa on stay back cover center, they're going to play that role really well. So huge shout out to my boy Division 10 Tactics again for releasing another version of this uh, of this custom tactic. It's absolutely incredible. And it's my personal favorite in the game because it always provides you with authentic attacking AI pushing forward. Again, guys, you know, huge shout out to Abe as well as Div 10 more div 10 because guys for me i i just i need authentic i need movement i that's how that's what makes the game fun for me right so big shout out to my boy man Sh big shout out because it, it, it always reminds me of the air japes 3412 right that formation literally saved me for the entire year right these formations when i use them it's i need this movement i score 100 goals against me but if i if i could score some nice attacking plays in the way that this game plays out this is what i want man Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Okay. Beauty. Play, good play. There it is. Yo, Zola's left stick is disgusting. I don't care about his dribbling stats. And he's onside. Beautiful. It was a white time strike too. Just a regular and he scores. That's what happens when you have the finesse shot trait, man. Oh, Alexia. I like that, I like that. Oh, he still gets it, what a beast. What a beast, what am I seeing? Yeah, once I got that angle, it's like, it's over my boy. It's over. Oh, red time tonight, so scored. Oh, 
Oh, look at the first touches, man. And I scored that one. Oh, is this, you, do you see what I'm saying about the first touch, bro? Yeah, that was good. That was good, man. That overcommitment was good. A technical coming in clutch. Oh. Nice. Nice. Shot cancel. I got it. Okay. Whew. Whew. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude, I don't know. Because, bro, I'm telling you guys, man, recently, like, my shot cancels, they sometimes, they just, they just don't come off sometimes, bro. I don't know what to tell you guys, bro. Sometimes they don't come off. There it is. <sighs> We're going to be positioned for those bad boys, that's for sure. I think he's just gonna leave. Sometimes people see the team and they just dip. Maybe? Oh no. Are you actually playing? Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it happens quite a bit of times, so I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty Zola. Not oh, good enough there. There you go. War pass. Oh, I love that. I love when I actually get rewarded for good attacking play. Ooh. Thank you, Rodri. That bruiser just pushed them. It's the pressure, right? Like, they feel that pressure, and, like, it makes them dribble worse, right? Oh, this Zola card is awesome. This Zola card is awesome. Oh, my goodness, man. That's what I want to see, man. Don't do side footed, please. No side footage. Oh, Zola. Zola's sick, bro. This guy's sick. Good goal. There it is. Nice goal. Nice goal. Oh, thank you, Zola. Oh, I actually scored. Let's go, man.
Zola is a bee. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, Zola is... I love Zola, man. This card's awesome. Beautiful goal. Oh, that game, this game is trash. Oh, Zebu with the five star weak foot. <laughs> 